On Draw Stuff Real Easy today, I'm going to show you how to draw Queen Elizabeth the First. But let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. You are going to need a pen and a pencil and an eraser. I'm going to start by making a plan and I'm going to pencil very, very gently. I'm going to start by drawing an oval for the face and then let's draw a line going straight down. We're going to have like a collar about like that. And then we want a curve coming around there and a curve coming around there. So make those nice and even. This is going to come down like that. <laughs> and this is going to come down and around like that. Oh, and down. So this is her cloak. And then we've got her body coming all the way down like that. And her skirt is coming out there. And this is quite important. We need to have um, her staff sort of coming like that, that her sleeve is coming like that. And she's holding it with her hand. And then here she is holding her orb, or is it the scepter? No, this is the orb, and then that's the scepter, isn't it? And so we need to have a cross on there like that. She'll have a thumb there and the hands there. And again, her arms like that. Crown on the top, hair coming down like that. So I'll just straighten that up and then we can draw in ink. So let's draw the crown first. So let's draw a little thing like that across the top and we'll make that to be jewels inside it. And then we want a little diamond thing there. And we're gonna have two curves like that, oh, like a McDonald's arches and that will come around like that. And then we want another one coming around like that. Another one coming around there. And a great big jewel on the top. And we want a cross on the top there like that with a jewel in the middle as well. And then inside there, there's a bit of red velvet or something like that. And then we can draw her hair coming out like that. And we've got a pearl in there as well. And then we'll have her sort of long face. And I'm just going to give her dots for eyes because that's kind of what she looks like. And a little smile. Let's make this easy on ourselves. There's a little eyebrows in there as well. And then here she has this enormous ruff. So let me think about how we're going to do this. It's like figures of eight. So again, up and, up and round and up and round and up and round and up and round and up like that. And then I'm going to draw this uh, staff or this scepter in here. And so we want a kind of a jewel there, another jewel. And then we're going to bring this up like that. As the kind of a rod bit. And then we're going to have a jewel there, <laughs> and another jewel there. And then this kind of pointy bit on the top with lots of pearls. So underneath here, we've got a kind of a collar of jewels as well. <laughs> She's got a lot of jewels. And let's just put these little, little lines in there, which will make that look like it's jewelry. And then we got her hair. Um, and then that's going to sort of come around like that. Let's put this cloak in here. So we're starting off with kind of a, an ermine cape, which is going to come to about there. And the same on this side, which will come to about there, because we have this funny little fold thing going on. She has a great big um, <laughs> jewelry thing going on around here. So we've got circles and squares, circle and square, circle, circle and square, circle and square, circle. And then if we do a kind of little thing around the circle like that, and then each of these has got sort of pearls dripping <laughs> from the, it's, I'm not sure what you would call that. And now I think the next thing I'm going to do is to paint a thumb. <laughs> And then there's this cross coming out like that. 
and then we got jewels on those are jewels on the end of everything um, she was obviously worth quite a lot of money wasn't she <laughs> and that's her um, sleeve and we'll have a bit of the cuff going up there as well and here we're going to have the thumb and we'll have one two three four those are her fingers and we'll have the cuff there and we can bring that line coming down to there and this will then stop there and then we'll draw the orb and the cross in the middle of it like that which again has lots of jewels in it <laughs> there's jewels everywhere on there and we've got a little kind of jewel at the bottom here as well and then um, we have this line here we want to bring a line down here that's going to kind of swing around there and this is kind of the the uh, cord that is holding her cape together so we want two of these and that one's going to sort of come behind there and swing around there and it looks like they join together and uh, are we all there yeah and this is going to be a tassel at the end so then we can draw that sweeping around there and we're going to have that sweeping down there that sweeping down there and then we can have the rest of her hair coming down there now this is a very young queen elizabeth the first because this is her ascending to the throne this is her ass accession painting um and now we need to have that going like that so there's a line up there so this is like a fold which is coming around like that as well and this is made of ermine so ermine has these little bits i think they're the tips of the tails of stoats or something like that and i think you have to be royal to be allowed to wear ermine i don't think anybody just anybody's allowed to wear ermine i think you have to be special um, if nothing else each one of these is the tail of an of a stoat so um you have to catch an awful lot of stoats don't you um right so then we've got her bodice comes down like that and then the skirt is go oh let's have a sleeve in there and a sleeve in there and then the skirt is going to come down there and we'll get these pleats in the skirt and again we have <laughs> Let's draw a little thing around that. We've got jewels going all the way around like that. And in fact, the back of the cloak has got ermine in there as well. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well here. Now, if you're finding any of this confusing, then you can always stop and start and replay any time you like. And while you're at it, if you got this far, then you must enjoy drawing. So make sure you are subscribed. Click the little button up. Click the little button down here click the little button down here and subscribe to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week so i'm going to take this right off the page <laughs> like that and then the rest of it we've got kind of tudor roses things like that well, it's not very good tudor roses but if you go and put little things like that in there then that kind of makes them look like tudor roses and if you do like that so if you put those little bits there that kind of makes them look like Tudor roses and then I don't I would just put lots of kind of curly things like this in you know just to make it easy to make a kind of a pattern sort of curly lines like that just sort of filling filling in the spaces there's a curl and a curl and a curl and a curl like that and again I think you can put some kind of curls down there and some more curls on the skirt like that when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines and I think all we really need to do is to draw some lines across like that to kind of make sure that that's in the background because it's darker there and we'll want some in there as well so some curly lines on there too and then i'm going to do a little bit of shading just underneath the cape there as it's going over the top like that so just putting a little bit of shading in there 
and I'm going to shade in this orb as well, like that. Get this these pleats in the skirt going all the way down, and then we can maybe put some bit of shading in with those pleats there as well. And we can maybe just put extra little sort of like little commas almost inside the jewels there just to give them a little bit of extra shape and then I'm going to just put these little dots around the top there to kind of look like jewels stuck on the top of the crown as well and maybe on the inside there so all you have to do is color it in she's got a very pale face uh, and so mostly it's a kind of a goldy yellow color and then some coloring in for the jewels in kind of reds and blues there you go, thanks for watching and keep coming back to draw stuff real easy for lots more drawings every week and in the meantime keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice and I'll see you next time. You take care now, bye bye.